some point in their life, every car enthusiast dreams of coming here to Ferrari World. And today, I have an exclusive backstage pass to show you around. This is the fastest roller coaster in the entire world. It's the closest thing you'll experience to hopping in a Ferrari F1 race car. Privacy at the resort is absolutely paramount. I mean, right now, I'm the only one on the island. So every one of my wants and desires is tailored to and catered for. And at maximum, there'll only ever be eight guests on the island. So the likelihood of seeing anyone is pretty slim. It's hard to believe, but the view is even better from your very own plunge pool within your pavilion. This is one of 60 pavilions here in Qualia. And as you can see, it's large, private, and uniquely Australian. It has timber floors throughout, floor to ceiling glass panels, and you're surrounded by eucalyptus trees. I don't know about you, but to me, it smells like home. So once the vegetables are sautéed, we're starting to move into the curry yes. powder now. So the trick in curry cocoa is the coconut milk. And is that a Thai influence or an Indian influence? That No, that's actually a, a Creole. Creole. Wow. The flavours are very influenced by India. Where do you get your local tuna from? So everything is from Seychelles itself. One more here. One more. You okay. like almond. <laughs> there we go. How did Thank you know? You. There then we, we go. get the radish. I think Here's mine's these. looking better than Christian's right now. <laughs> Fijians have a different way of relaxing after a meal. It's called a kava ceremony. Kava is a traditional Fijian drink. It's also a mild sedative made by crushing the root of a yangona plant to make a silty brown concoction known as grog. <laughs> kind of tastes like muddy water. Botswana has one of the highest conservation land ratios in all of Africa with more than 25% of the land set aside for parks and reserves. We've just come across four white rhinos. Now, these endangered animals were introduced to the area almost a decade ago with the idea of breeding them. And as you can see, so far, so good. Right now, we're approaching them by foot. And I was just being told that now we're on foot, we actually do look like predators. It's pretty windy, but it's actually working in our favour because the wind is going upwind. It's actually blowing our scent in that direction so they can see us, but they can't smell us. Surrounding Royal Chundu is a number of villages. And today, I've been invited inside one of its schools. Hi. 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 So what are they working on at the moment? At the moment, we are talking about virus. Ah. R-A-E-O-O, -O, yes. So this here is a local village, is that right? Correct, this is uh, Telelu village. Okay, now before I enter, how do I say hello? Salamat siang. Salamat siang. Salamat siang semua. Hi. Now this isn't the first project with the foundation. This is sort of stage three of the evolution of what you've been doing in the communities here, isn't it? Right, we've actually, we started back in 2001 with our water projects. Well, it's pretty amazing to be welcomed into a community like this. So what can <laughs> we do to help out? I think the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll start with the, with the weighing of the kids if you want to come up and help sure. to relay some of the information. It's so empowering to see the direct impact luxury tourism is having on local and indigenous people. And to have the chance to be part of that change is truly what makes it such a special experience. <laughs>
I've made a few new friends along the way. Say hi, everyone. Hi. And I'm going to stay and check out the rest of the island, but we will see you on the next episode. Until then. Yeah.